that we've been together for a million years and I bet we'll be together for a million more oh it's like I started breathing on the night we kissed and I can't remember what I ever did before what would we do baby without us what would we do baby without us and there ain't no nothing we can love each other through what would we do baby without us shana na na sit ubu sit good dog do 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 Sorry, was that was that just here in Australia that at the end of Family Ties it was that Ubu production dog, and it was always sit Ubu sit good dog rough. There you go. That's setting the scene for what we're going to have here today. TV and movies, uh, all songs inspired by or from TVs, TV shows, movies, and uh, everything in between. Actually, no, there's nothing else in between. How are you? G'day. I hope you're doing well. Uh, this is probably the least prepared I've been for a happy hour in a long time. Let's get, say good day to the folks who are here live. Desolate Morning was here early. Uh, g'day to Mark Bro, to Thomas Christ, Kim Harden Hudson. Uh, Brad Example in the house. Christopher Rossi, hello to you. Uh, did I say Thomas Christ? I think I did. Uh, Jade Starr, who just did a show that I missed most of. I caught one song. Sorry, Jade. <laughs> uh, yeah, the crowd looks familiar. They've probably all been over at the opening hour. Hello, Gregory O'Sullivan. I uh, hope you are doing well. Joe Glenn. I think I saw Barry Glenn sneaking on in there. I uh, hope you're all doing well, Synth Widow. Cody Bradley and Huska. Oh, MASH theme. I didn't go MASH, but hey, that could have been cool, right? Uh, all right, the Ubu dog wasn't just Australia. Cool. The sit, Ubu, sit. Good dog. Just every time, every time. Uh, hello, Bleeding Red Beats. Hello, Mary Sarah. Good to see you here. All right, we are going to uh, we're going to play some songs. And uh, some songs for some movies. Some that I love, some that I don't. Some that are uh, good value. Uh, look, I'm not going to say that um, they're just for, you know, for kitsch value or whatever. But some are... Uh some are from movies that I love. Some are from questionable movies, but I just love the song and they, they rule. Uh, so this one's actually from one of my favorite movies from the 90s, a movie called Pulp Fiction you might have heard of. Uh, and this is a song by Urge Overkill. It goes like this. Girl, you'll be a woman soon. Love you so much, can't count all the ways I die for you, girl. And all I can say is not your kind. Never get tired of putting me down, and I never know when I come around what I'm gonna find. Don't let them make up your mind. Don't you know, girl, you'll be a woman soon. Come take my hand, girl You'll be a woman soon, soon You'll need a man I've been misunderstood for all of my life But what are they saying? It's just like a knife This boy's no good Finally found what I've been looking for But if I get a chance, I'll end it for sure Sure that they would Baby, I've done all I could It's up to you, girl do, do, do. You'll be a woman soon Please do, 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 do. Come take my hand, girl a woman soon, soon, you'll need a man. A little shortened version there uh, from Pulp Fiction, of course, a movie that I can't watch anymore. I don't know if it's just me. I mentioned this uh, last week, I think, that in my old age... Sorry, I'm just turning the volume down a slight smidge because I did clip on that one, you would have heard. Um, 
in my old age, I can't watch violent movies anymore. I used to love Reservoir Dogs, used to love Pulp Fiction, used to love a lot of the movies. These days, I just can't do it. Don't know, is that just me? I'm getting, getting old. Getting old and in my old age, I don't like any of the violent stuff. Um, and I'm not big into the action stuff, like uh, the things that are like exploding and loudness and all that sort of thing. Not really into the action movies. Comedies, bring them on. Speaking of comedies, uh, this next tune is is um, from a comedy, uh, or a romantic comedy, a rom-com from the 90s, uh, many of you may be aware of. Uh, let, let's do a bit of movie guessing, shall we? So if you know the name of the, uh, I want the, the artist, the song title, and the movie it's from. There you go. You're going to have to get in there quickly. Um, because uh, this, is a, this is a classic song. Um, well, yeah, one of my favourite movie songs uh, from a ballady kind of vibe. So we'll play this one now, shall we? I feel it in my fingers I feel it in my toes Love is all around me And so the feeling grows It's written in the wind It's everywhere I Come on and let it show No, I love you, I always will My mind's made up by the way that I feel There's no beginning, there'll be no end Cause all my love, you can't depend I kind of get to thinking of all the things you said. Oh, yes, I do. You gave your promise to me, and I gave mine to you. I need someone beside me in everything I do. I do. You know I love you and I always will My mind's fed up by the way that I feel No beginning, there'll be no end Cause all my love can be pain Oh, it's riddle in the wind Oh, it's everywhere I There you go. Yes, I think plenty of folks got it. Uh, who, who was the first? Yes. <laughs> wet, wet, wet. Yes, the band's so good they had to name it three times. Exactly right. Uh, spot on. Uh, so if we keep going up, keep going up, does anyone anyone get there? <laughs> first time I've heard it, says Amaricia. There you go. Uh, yeah, it was, of course, from Love Actually, um, except that they changed the words. Uh, is They made it into a Christmas song. It's actually a pretty cool scene. Like, I don't love that movie super much, but... Um, the characters that the old rocker dude who like does the cover of that song and it does uh, if you really love Christmas I think that's pretty fun uh, maybe love actually didn't make it out of uh, was that not a big thing in the US definitely was big here and I think it was pretty big in the UK but maybe not uh maybe not elsewhere um I hope you're doing well uh if you're having a drink let me know what you're imbibing 
whether it's water, tea, bonox, um, what's a big thing? Iced tea. Folks in the States drink a lot of uh, like sweetened iced tea I found when I went to the States. Like whenever you go to a diner or a cafe, it was like in a big, big cup of like icy iced tea. And I'm like, it was just a staple. Like here you go, oh, do you want water, sparkly water, or regular water or a soft drink? Iced tea was a big thing. So go figure. Amaraseas on the water. There you go. Now, did I see a donation? I did. Thank you very kindly uh, to Bleeding Red Beats for the uh, donation. Yeah, donations and super chats are not required, but always welcome. And they do help you keep the lights on around here. And you know what? No, I won't. I'll do it. If, if anyone else gives a donation, I'll do the joke. And it's going to be a good joke because look how dark it is here. My background. I don't have the green screen this week. And uh, the studio's been changed a bit, which you'll find out about tomorrow if you tune into the, uh, tune into the, um, the, the, the Creator Town Hall. So, uh, yeah, we'll talk more about that then. Uh, let's play an REM song. Because this song uh, was from the movie the Gr uh, Man on the Moon, which was the story of uh, Jim Carrey. Who's the dude? Ah, Saturday Night Live duty. Someone will be able to remember. I can't remember. I think he might have. Andy Kaufman. There you go. So, so this one's called uh, The Great Beyond by R.E.M. Because, uh, of course, I've got to play an R.E.M. song if there's an R.E.M. song in the in a movie. Uh, let's get this set up. Make sure I've got all the words in front of me so that I can sing it. There we go. We're good. All right. goes like this. Watch the stars fall silent from your eyes All the sights I should have seen I can't believe that I believed I wish that you could see There's a new planet in the solar system there is nothing up my sleeve I'm pushing an elephant up the stairs I'm tossing a punchline that were never there Over my shoulder a piano falls Crashing to the ground All this talk of time, talk is fine I don't want to stay around Why can't we pantomime Just close our eyes and sweep sweet dreams Me and you have wings on our feet I'm pushing an elephant up the stairs I'm tossing out punchlines that were never there Over my shoulder a piano falls Crashing to the ground I'm breaking through, I'm sending spoons I'm keeping flowers in full bloom I'm looking for answers from the great beyond dreams of you I'm pushing an elephant up the stairs I'm tossing out punchlines that were never there over my shoulder a piano falls crashing to the ground I'm breaking through I'm bending spoons I'm keeping Flowers in full bloom I'm looking for answers from the great Answers from the great
The Great Beyond from R.E.M. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate you for being here. Oh, look at this. So we've got the Mix Club throwing a super sticker in there. Thank you very kindly. Everyone wants to see the joke. Uh, we've got uh, Synth Widow. Thank you, Joe. And Joe Glenn. Thank you, Joe. There you go. <laughs> There you go, Joe. What do you know? Uh, thank you for the donations. Do appreciate it. If you, if a super chat's not your thing here on YouTube and you do want to support me in the channel, there is a PayPal link down below. So anyone who PayPals during the show, I've got my phone here. I'll definitely give you a shout out if you're not. Because I know some folks are just not super comfy with um, the whole YouTube thing. So uh, if you do want to do it that way, feel free. Uh, very cool. Very cool song, that one. R E M. Um, all right, let's uh, let's move on. Uh, what else have I got here? Uh, oh, I, I never actually tried that one. <laughs> I've got a I've got another TV theme song, but I'll save that for the end of the show. We'll close with that one. Uh, why don't we play? Uh, I've never played this one before. And it's actually a song uh, by, it was sung by Patrick Swayze, R.I.P. Patrick Swayze. And um, in the movie Dirty Dancing, Patrick Swayze actually sang, sang, sung, singed some of the songs. And this was one that you may recall if you're, if you're a Dirty Dancing fan, and who isn't after all, because nobody puts baby in a corner, right? Don't forget, nobody puts baby in a corner. Uh, so uh, this is a song called She's Like the Wind. It's a bit of a fun one. It's got some good chord changes in it, so... Quick beverage of the Cooper's Pale Ale. Cooper's. Oh, no. You know what? I was thinking it looked a little bit weird. Uh, you know why the background's looking a little bit strange? Because I've got a green screen on with no green screen. There you go. <laughs> People, you probably thought I was trying to fool you there. And they're like, Pete, that's not really your background. But why would I choose to do that? There you go. So that's what a Cooper's Pale actually looks like now that you can actually see it. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's, uh, let's play this tune. Uh, this is called She's Like the Wind. She's like the wind Through my tree She rides the night next to me. She leads me through moonlight, only to burn me with the sun. She's taking my heart. She doesn't know what she's done. I feel her breath in my face, body close to me. Can't look in her eyes She's out of my league Just a fool to believe I have anything she needs She's like the wind Look in the mirror And all I see Is a young old man With only a dream Am I just full of myself That she'll stop the pain Living without her I go and say Out of my league, just a fool to believe I have anything she needs. She's like the wind. Just a fool to believe I have anything she needs. She's indeed like the wind from Dirty Dancing. 
Uh, yeah, him, indeed. I would love, I would pay, I would pay cash money for you to just turn the camera on and turn it around to Doug. By the way, this is Synth Widow, uh, Joe, uh, the better half of the sound test room. So Doug from the sound test room, watching Dirty Dancing, just pointing at Doug's face for 95 minutes, the entire length of Dirty Dancing, while Doug has to sit there and watch Dirty Dancing. I would actually, uh, I think that's a live stream that has to happen, Joe. Make it happen. <laughs> Alrighty, um, let's play, uh, let's play something, something more modern, shall we? Uh, I think I played this one a few weeks ago for a, a 90s show, um, and it's a, it's, a, it's a controversial song. Um, yeah, because it's from, it's from the movie Cruel Intentions, uh, and it's by the band The Verve. Uh, I just had to remember, I just had to make sure I can remember how to play it. <laughs> uh, not really, so we'll, we'll give it a crack though. It's pretty repetitive, so as long as I get the uh, the chord progression right once, I should be able to do it and do it again. Uh, so this is uh, uh, the the song that had the it sparked a big controversy because the sample used was a sample from I believe a Rolling Stones song. I'm gonna get all this totally wrong because I didn't do my prep today. Um, but yeah, look it up and find out about the the bittersweet symphony scandal. And it turns out in the end, I think they reversed it all and they are now sharing the royalties or something like that. Someone in the chat will know better than me and we'll be able to, to go there. And yes, as uh, as um, this one, as Greg Hernandez, this one. <laughs> hey, Greg, you're this one. As Greg Hernandez says, uh, yeah, Bittersweet Symphony. Uh, so let's give this one a go. Yeah, this is um, the Verve Bittersweet Symphony. It's a bittersweet symphony that's like Try to make ends meet You're a slave to money Then you die Take you down the only road I've ever been down Change, I can change, I can change, I can change Good, I'm here in my mode I am here in my mode Now I'm a million different people From one day to the next I can change my mode No, 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 no Well, I never pray But tonight I'm on my knees Some sounds that recognize the pain in me, yeah Let the melody shine, let it cleanse my mind I feel free now But the airwaves are clean and there's nobody singing to me now Change, I can change, I can change, I can change, but I'm here in my mold. I am here in my mold, and I'm a million different people from one to the next. I can change my mold. No, 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 no. To change, to change, to change, to change, to change, change, yes. Changes. Bittersweet Symphony from the Verve, from Cruel Intentions, which was a uh, an interesting movie from the past. <laughs> uh, was it the movie with um? Uh, what was the, the the lady and the other lady? Yeah, anyway, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> if you remember the movie, you know what I'm talking about. All right. Uh, I know, Amaricia, the, the conversations that go on behind the scenes that I don't uh, I don't see because I'm playing. Um, I watch sometimes on the replay afterwards and I'm like, oh, goodness me, what's going on there? Well, look, I can't follow it. Uh, we'll have a quick beverage. All right. 
right. Uh, so this is a bit of an old one. <clears throat> so this uh, is an older song. Uh, it's by Ben E. King. And uh, it's from a movie that was probably the movie I watched more. I remember having a VHS copy. I can picture the label of this VHS copy of the movie. Uh, and I watched it probably 20 to 25 times throughout the late 80s and early 90s. Um, and it's uh, it's got a classic tune, uh, which I'm going to play a version of here. And it is, of course, Stand By Me. Don't stand by your man, because that's misogynist. Uh, totally. <laughs> I don't know what triggered that. I've only had less than half a beer. Wow. That was a severe drinking problem. I don't quite know what happened there. <laughs> Went everywhere. Uh, so Stand By Me, of course, was um, it was from the book by Stephen King. Someone will correct me on this too, but uh, it was a book of short stories, and I think it might have even been under his original name, like, which was what, Richard Starkey or something? No, that's, uh, that's Ringo Starr. Um, but it was called The Body, and it was a short story in one of those uh, Stephen King tomes from way back in the 70s, and then they turned it into that movie, uh, Stand By Me, and it's cool, one of my favourites. I haven't watched it in a long time, but there you go. Oh no, <laughs> um, tomorrow in the UK you can stand as close as you want. Oh, I, I know. I, I, okay. I'm not going to say anything except please, uh, please be safe. I know. I know a lot of places outside of Australia have done a lot better with the vaccinations, but that's not all. You can't just do the vaccinations and then say it's so good. Anyway, before this gets flagged as uh, <laughs> get that little C word thing underneath it where it's like some information was given in this one. You might want to think about. Um, oh, shut up. 
All right, shall I try? Uh, shall I try this one? Maybe. Uh, yeah, let's let's give this one a crack. Let's let's up the tempo a bit. We've played a few low key ones. I'll play this one, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna actually play a song uh, that is a I'm gonna I'm gonna play play one that I've pre recorded. So because it's a a movie related song that I've released um, that I've released uh, a while ago, which many of you may know about, but I I, I figure it qualifies because it was a song I wrote about a movie, and then I did a I did a video where I cut together the movie. So. <clears throat> we'll give that one a go. But before that, uh, let's play this one because um, sounds like uh, I'm going to be 100, 500 miles. Rising up, back on the street Did my time, took my chances Went the distance, now I'm back on my feet Just a man and his will to survive Many times, it happens too fast You change your passion for glory Lose your grip on the dreams of your past You must fight just to keep them alive Rising up to the challenge of our rival And the last known survivor stalks his prey in the night And he's watching us all with the eye of the tiger Face to face, out in the heat Hanging tough, staying hungry the odds but now it's out on the street for the kill with the kills to survive it's the eye of the tiger it's the thrill of the fight rising up to the challenge of our rival and the last no survivor stalks his prey in the night and he's watching us all with the eye of the tiger 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 Oh, that reminds me for some reason of 2020. Remember that Tiger King documentary that some people watched? I did not watch a minute of it, but apparently it was like the third most popular Netflix show of 2020. And it was like about some dude that got eaten by a tiger or something. I don't know. I missed the boat on exactly what it was about, but uh, cheers. Oh, uh, we got the, uh, <laughs> got the tigers here. There you go. Am Amorosi has done well. I, tiger, I, there you go. Oh, look at that tiger. Like a tiger. Rar. Uh, yeah, very nice. The tiger's in the eyes. The eyes have it. Uh, sa sounded uh, like a bit of auto-tune at the end. Auto-tune, you reckon? <laughs> or is that bad tuning of my guitar? No, I, I promise you I'm not, I'm not smart enough to work out how to put uh, my vocals through auto-tune without like a ridiculous amount of lag and latency. So, uh, no. It's unnatural right here, but when I um, when I get to the end there, and I, I have to slow it down because I don't hit those notes at the right speed. So that's why I do that weird slow down thing. But I don't know. Does it work? You tell me. Tell me. Uh, all right. Let's 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 do something a little bit different here. I need to uh, I need to get myself set up here because again, poor preparation. Actually, you know what? Before that, uh, I, I I said um. I said if I got some more donations, I would uh, do the joke. And then I did, and then I didn't do it. So I want to say a sincere thank you to you. That's you watching. Whether you're watching, liking, subscribing, sharing, donating, whatever you do, 
thank you because I couldn't do this. I couldn't do this as my full-time job here on Studio Live today without your help. So it is folks like you, folks like the kind people that have donated that keep the lights on around here. Otherwise, we would look a little bit like this. And that doesn't look good at all, does it? Hello, I'm still here. But there, that, that just shows you exactly what why I need you, right? Exactly. Um, oh, okay. Go back and listen to it, Pete. Straight into your voice went auto-tune. So it did actually go auto-tune. That was weird. It was the last note. Okay. It might have been, uh, I don't know, what, what could have caused that? Some weird sort of glitch. Is it, was it, hang on, was it a little bit, um, was it like that Skype, you know, when you get that Skype thing where you hear people, it's like, goes, it kind of like stays on the same pitch. I don't know. Uh, so I wrote a song about one of my favorite 80s comedy movies of all time. Uh, it is called... There's no such thing as college. And I've told the story before, but the reason that um, that this movie meant a lot to me is that, uh, uh, th yeah, it, it was weird because here in Australia we have univer like we have high school and university, but this concept was so foreign to me that kids would just get driven away from their homes. They get jumped at these colleges where it seemed like, if the movies were to be believed, all they did was like drink and party and other things. Uh, and they had like these fraternities and sororities and all this other stuff. And I'm like, I don't understand what's going on here. Uh, but apparently it's true. And people, people have told me since that, yeah, college is a real thing. Uh, the word alma mater is actually real and it means a place you went to and they play like football games for colleges. Like it, it makes me laugh because here in Australia, can you imagine if Australians, if like Adelaide University played Melbourne University or what, what's the one, what's the big one in Melbourne? Um, I can't remember. Like Flinders? No. What, what's the Melbourne one? Swin, Swin, Swanston? Anyway. But yeah, if a university went to another city to play another university, how weird would that be? But it's a college thing. So I say all that to say uh, I'm going to take a wee break, uh, sit back and, and have a beer and watch this one with you. And uh, this is called There's No Such Thing as College. And uh, we're, we're already getting copyright claims here. So this will, this will get a copyright claim again uh, because it uses footage from Revenge of the Nerds, which is, of course, the college movie that I was talking about. So uh, here it is. There's No Such Thing as College from me. You're smart, easy going. Get your father's good looks. <laughs> <laughs> A movie back in '85. The kids were driven far away from home and they were left behind. What is this place? Why is everyone so strange? That crusty dean made them all declare a major. How is this real? Why are all these kids so drunk? Letterman jackets and a homecoming parade just make no sense. Nerds and jocks and freaks and geeks, sororities. I think they just made it all up. There's no such thing as college. There's no such thing as college. There's no such thing as frat boys and glee clubs and kid girls. There's no such thing as college. Marching band, they were on the field. People watching 17 year olds play football like they give a damn. The head cheerleader gives the name. The campus radio, we're crossing lines to some AB club team. And dad's eyes fit, I wonder why they have to lie to me so much. And then I Thing is college. There's no such thing as college. There's no such thing as frat boys and glee club and it girls. There's no such thing as college. 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 There is no such thing as college. Oh, there's the DGs. Oh, we can't play that. 
<laughs> if you haven't um if you haven't caught that one, you should be dancing. The the Dave Grohl and Foo Fighters covering the BGs, you totally need to check that one out. Uh yeah, thank you. Appreciate that, Christopher Rossi. I've already done the joke, so I won't do I won't do joke part two electric boogaloo, but uh thank you for that. I appreciate it. Uh yeah, Lambda 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 and Omega Moo. There you go. Uh so I I'm going to I'm actually um working on I'm actually working on that. I won't play the song here now because we've only got 20 minutes left and I've got a few more tunes to play. But I'm working on a video at the moment doing the exact same thing with my song uh, 1.21 uh, from Righty Doki, The Time It Flies. Time it flies when you're having fun. Sometimes feels you're the only one who knows. That one. Uh, to do the same with, uh, with Back to the Future. See how many copyright claims I can get on that one. <laughs> and yeah, hopefully it can, uh, I can line it up like I did with that. All right, uh, we'll move that screen back over there and uh, we'll grab another tune here, shall we? <clears throat> we, need, we need, after that one, that was a bit upbeat and up vibe. We need to, uh, we need to go a little bit, uh, bit low-key again here. Let's get the capo involved for this one, shall we? Um, and we might need to have a quick tune. Sorry, I should, you know what? How silly am I? I could have tuned while, while I was playing that song. That would have, there it is, it's a pesky, uh, it's a pesky G sharp string. <laughs> and the D sharp string. All right, all right, I think we're back in tune now. Yeah, there you go, that's a, that's one. All right, so I'm going to play this one. This is, uh, this is from the movie Titanic. <laughs> and it's fun. Come on now. Come on, Celine Dion. Where's my Canadians at? Come on, Mark. Is Celine Dion like a big deal in, in Canada or is she, is it tall poppy syndrome? Do Canadians like legitimately like Celine Dion or is it kind of a bit naff? And they only like her on like a hipster. Oh yeah, Celine Dion, she's cool. Uh, like that. I don't know. I'd probably, who could you compare her to here in Australia? Maybe Kylie? Maybe, yeah. I don't know. I, I kind of dig Kylie. I like a lot of Kylie stuff, but yeah, some of her poppy stuff, uh, not not super cool. Uh, shall I try this one? Yeah, let's try this one. So this is um this is from a uh, Michelle Pfeiffer movie from uh, the nineties, and this is from uh, from an artist called Coolio. Coolio, right? Yeah. This one um is tough to play, so uh, wish me luck. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say about that. A 
as I walk through the valley in the shadow of death I take a look at my life and realize there's nothing left Cause I've been blasted and laughing so long that even my mama thinks that my mind is gone But I ain't never crossed a man who didn't deserve it Be treated like a punk, you know that's unheard of You better watch out you're talking or when you're walking Or you and your homies might be lying in chalk I really hate to trip but I gotta look as they croak, I see my sister love the pistol smoke Fool, I'm the kind of G the little homies wanna be that on my knees day and night in the prayers for the street light Been spent most our lives living in a gangster's paradise Been spent most our lives living in a gangster's paradise Keep spending most our lives living in a gangster's paradise Keep spending most our lives living in a gangster's Paradise. Look at the situation you got me facing I can't live a normal life I was raised by the streets So I gotta be down with the hood team Too much television watching Got me tracing dreams, fool I'm an educated fool with money on my mind Got my tan in my hand and a gleam on my eye I'm a locked up gangster set tripping banger And my homies are down So don't arouse my anger, fool Death ain't nothing but a hard beacon way I'm having life, do I die? But what can I say? I'm 23 now But will I live to be 24 the way Things are going, I don't know Tell me why are we So blind to see That the ones we heard Are you and me Been spending most of their lives Living in a gangster's paradise Been spending most of their lives Living in a gangster's paradise Keep spending most of their lives Living in a gangster's paradise Keep spending most our lives living in a gangster's paradise. Power and the money, money and the power. Minute after minute, hour after hour, everybody's running, but half of them ain't looking going on in the kitchen. But I don't know what's cooking. They say I gotta learn, but there's not that I teach me. If they can't understand it, how can they reach me? I guess they can, I guess they won't, I guess they front. But then I know my life is out of luck, fool. Been spending most our lives living in a gangster's Paradise, been spending most their lives living in a gangster's paradise. Keep spending most their lives living in a gangster's paradise. Keep spending most their lives living in a gangster's paradise. Tell me why are we so blind to see that the ones we heard are you? Coolio, Gangster's Paradise from way back when. I didn't note down the years, but from the movie Dangerous Minds um, from uh, from back in the day. Michelle Pfeiffer and was, was Coolio was actually in it, wasn't he? Who, who else was in that movie? Not sure. Mm. And uh, yeah, so Greg Hernandez, thank you so much for the super sticker. And uh, was it uh, Amaracia? Yeah, Weird Al. Weird Al's version of that one, uh, which is um, Amish Paradise, is pretty much one of my favourite uh, songs. <laughs> Hitching up the buggy, R raise the barn on Monday, soon I raise another. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> cool stuff. All right. Got a few more tunes to play here. Uh, where are we at? Yeah, we've got 12 minutes left, so we, we've got a few more to play. Who have I missed here? Josiah Manley. Uh, you are late. Uh, you are late. We've got 10 minutes to go, though, so uh, we'll, we'll sneak a few more in there. Yeah, it was about 94. It was definitely mid-90s. Jeffrey Hilner. Uh, hello. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Patrick Chandler, if I haven't said good day to you. Hope you're doing well. Sean Chandler in the house. Got the Chandler brothers together. Gary Hubbs, did I say good day to you? I'm not sure if I did. Uh, I think I've said hello to everyone. If I've missed you, throw a big hello in the chat and I'll try and, uh, I'll try and get there. Uh, Mark Bro, thank you for the five, five loonies. That's two toonies as I've, uh, as I've come to know. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the, yeah, I watch a show called Kim's Convenience, which is a Canadian comedy show and it's amazing. So funny. And um, I'm up to like season four now. I've been binge watching it. Well, not really binging, but with my wife, she's already seen the first four seasons and we're about to get to season five and they talk about loonies and toonies uh, and Canadian culture. I'm, I'm learning about um, a bunch of different things. that connect. What, what is it? The power bill they called the hydro bill. 
is that because there's so much hydroelectric power um, in Toronto and in the, the area in Canada? I don't know, but I'm learning stuff. Um, I like it. Uh, thank you. Yeah, Michelle Pfeiffer was indeed. So uh, we've probably got three more songs that we can sneak in there. So which ones are we going to do? Um, I, I, I'm going to play this one because we opened with, um, well, we didn't open with, but we had the Family Ties theme. And then we, uh, we played a song from, um, from Pulp Fiction. And the other great Quentin Tarantino movie that I, uh, I dug back in the 90s that I can't watch anymore because, I said again, I just can't do the violence these days. But uh, it was, of course, Reservoir Dogs. And uh, this was a song that they used called Stuck in the Middle. And it's by Steeler's Wheel. And it goes like this. Those that know the movie uh, know exactly what scene happens when that's played. <laughs> Super creepy. All right. Um, we are coming towards an end. We're coming to a close here. Uh, who haven't I said good day to? Huska, hello to you. Uh, there he is. Uh, Pete wants Casaritos, broccoli, cheese soup, and root beer now. Okay, sure. <laughs> Okay, talking about root beers, please. Uh, free potato, free free potato taco, or oh, a quesadilla and a crunch wrap with root beer. There you go. We have got some deliciousness. It, it is lunchtime here. I am pretty hungry, and I'm going to go out for lunch uh, after the show. So uh, suggestions, please. What should um, what should we, what what should I go out for lunch for? Um. <laughs> So I nearly, I nearly just randomly went in and played a song just because I wanted to, uh, but I won't. I'll, I'll stick, I'll stick with what we've got here. And uh, selection, selection. Uh, I've, I've, I want to play this one because this was actually this kind of crosses over. This crosses over between movies and TV. So this is a song by Radiohead, and it's a song by the name of Exit Music for a Film. It's from uh, it's from OK Computer, one of my favourite albums of all time, uh, towards the end of the album. And um, yeah, 
Exit movie, exit music for a film is the name of it, which is related to movies. And then it was used. There was a piano, a solo piano pianola version that played at the end of the um, Westworld, the TV series Westworld that they did a few years ago, uh, where Anthony Hopkins is up there talking and they're playing this in the background. And I'm like, oh, it is such a cool tune. Uh, so I'm going to try and I'm going to try and do it justice here on the acoustic guitar only. It's my first time playing it. It's my first time. So uh, yes, we'll see how this ends up, shall we? From your sleep Dry Of your Tears Today We escape We escape Past and get dressed before your father hears us before all hell breaks loose breathe a song a song to keep us warm there's such a chill such a chill Radiohead exit music for a film. And that is the exit music for us. Except not quite. Because <laughs> when I was researching this and I was working out, I went on and I was like, what are the most iconic TV themes of all time? And two that kept coming up again and again was the first one we played, which is the Family Ties theme. And the second one that came up was the theme that I'm about to play. But 2021 warning, please, here, that the words, the lyrics in this one are super weird. You may, you've probably seen the show, almost definitely. Uh, you've seen the show. And uh, I, need, I, need, I need to crack a second beer before we play this finale because 
Uh, let's just say, cheers, everyone. Cheers, because that is one of the most popular and well-known theme songs of all time. It's apparently the theme from Cheers. So uh, we'll have a quick drink. And uh, again, if you've never heard this one before, uh, yeah, the lyrics are super bizarre. So listen out for some just weirdness. But again, uh, what's that thing they put up before TV shows and things where they're like, this was uh, done in the 70s and 80s and uh, in a time where this stuff that's in this was never okay, but um, we're, we're preserving it for, for all time's sake. It's actually not that bad, but it's just, it's wacky and weird. And anyway, uh, this is the Cheers theme uh, from the classic show. Day takes everything you got Taking a break from all your worries Sure would help a lot Wouldn't you like to get away All those nights where you got no lights And the check is in the mail And your little angel hung the cat out by its tail and your third fiance didn't show Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name And they're always glad you came You want to be where people see The troubles are all the same You want to go where everybody knows your name Out of bed, Mr. Coffee's dead. The morning's looking bright. And shrink ran on, shrink ran off to Europe and didn't even write. And your husband wants to be a girl. Be glad there's one place in the world where everybody knows your name. And they're always glad you came. You wanna go where people you want to go where everybody knows your name and your husband wants to be a girl like really this was this was what the 80s were doing to us <laughs> but yeah I, I messed that up but um that third verse there is a ripper you roll out of bed mr coffee's dead the morning's looking bright and your shrink ran off to europe and didn't even write and your husband wants to be a girl be glad there's one place in the world yeah that's what we were dealing with back in the 1980s folks uh but that is going to do it for this one thanks so much for being here that was a a heap of fun and uh yeah i i thank you all for the donations thank you for your kindness uh hit the thumbs up as you wipe your feet and head on out and if you're not already subscribed please do so because we've still got two more shows to round out the weekend tomorrow at 2 p.m pacific 5 p.m eastern 10 p.m greenwich mean time we've got the creator town hall so if you are a music video creative type then tune for that an hour of randomness and just chatter about creating in the home studio and my studio is a little bit different as you may have noticed or you can't really because it's all dark behind me but uh, I'll be talking a little bit about that because hey it's important to, to be able to adapt we're, we're mobile creators many of us so you've got to be able to adapt right and do your thing so uh, that is going to do it for this one and uh, I hope to see you tomorrow and then of course the following day for Garage Band Weekly thanks to all those oh I better do a quick check no nope, didn't get a donation on the PayPal <laughs> otherwise I said at the start hey if you donate by PayPal I'll, I'll give you a shout out and then not that wouldn't have been cool uh, but thanks to those who donated if you uh, dig what we do around here feel free to share it with other people because remember sharing is caring and Sharon is Karen please folks be kind to yourselves be kind to others this week keep creating and I'll see you real soon take care cheers